Two familiar last names on the ballot in the race for City Council District 3. Southside voters will be deciding between Phyllis Villagran, the sister of the current District 3 Councilwoman, and Tomas Uresti, a former state rep and school board trustee for Harlandale ISD. Garrett Berger talked with both about what they plan for the district if elected. They need to call people too. Okay. Phyllis Villagran had never really planned on running for office. But leave it on the calendar. But she says her sister Rebecca's achievements and the commitment of her and the other five women currently on city council inspired her. I thought I could be there and I can help. Villagran says she has a similar work ethic to her sister, but different life experience. She's had several jobs as an elementary school teacher, civilian employee at SAPD, working at Visit San Antonio, and most recently teaching seniors how to use new technology through Senior Planet. Her top issues include fully funding senior services, getting a public safety substation in the district, infrastructure, including broadband, and getting people back to work. So this ready to work SA plan needs to be ready to go, and we need to make sure that we're meeting with the residents and understanding what sort of services they need to get back to work. They're all over San Antonio. We have about four left. Her opponent, Tomas Uresti, is eager to get back to work as an elected official. He currently runs a coffee shop with his wife, but with experience in state government, a school board, and even the appraisal district, he sees an opportunity to give back as San Antonio comes out of the pandemic. I figured, well, since we're going to need somebody really strong to be able to get us through this, I figured with the experience that I have, I would be the one to be able to do it. Uresti says he's focused on being accessible to constituents and the resolvement of the pandemic. So we need to get the children back in our schools. We need to get all businesses back open, hopefully to, to full capacity and uh, to be able to get those that want it to be able to get their their vaccination at the same time. Early voting in this race and four others began today. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.